Hello, welcome to this section of AC Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to continue working on finding Thevenin uh, equivalent circuits. And we have a, a slightly more complicated circuit than what we had to deal with in the past. That's given on the board here. So we have an independent voltage source, 250 volts at zero degrees. We have a resistor, inductor here. We have another resistor and a capacitor here. But here, the difference is we have a dependent current source. So the value of this current is uh, annotated in the up direction as 0.03 times the voltage V0, and the voltage V0 is defined as the voltage across A terminals A and B, basically the voltage across this capacitor. And that's typical, typically how you would have a problem on an exam. You know, the problems that we have done before are very, very good for understanding, maybe a simple test problem or a simple quiz problem, but problems like this is typically what you would see in a, diff more, a more difficult homework problem or a more, di more difficult exam problem. Because it's not, uh, you, first of all, you have a node here, you have two meshes going on, but the big thing that makes it a little bit more difficult is that we have this dependent source here. So let's formulate a simple strategy. How are we going to handle this problem? The first thing we want to do is we need to find the Thevenin equivalent voltage. And after we find that, we need to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So the Thevenin equivalent voltage, remember all you have to do, and by the way, we're talking about finding a Thevenin equivalent between terminals A and B. I guess I didn't say that before. We want to find what the Thevenin equivalent is with respect to A and B, is we want to find out what this open circuit voltage is. So we're going to have to write some equations down and solve them in order to find that open circuit voltage. And it's not going to be as easy as the previous problems because of this dependent source here. It's not going to be simple, as simple as Ohm's law a few times to figure out what this voltage is because there's a dependency. This current is really dependent on this voltage, but this voltage is really what we're trying to find, which, which is the Thevenin equivalent voltage. So you can't just write super simple equations. Many, many times you'll have a system of equations that will involve multiple loops or multiple nodes, and then you'll solve that system of equations, and one of the answers you'll get will might be the Thevenin voltage that you're interested in. So that's what we're gonna do. And then at the end of the problem, we will have to find the Thevenin equivalent um, impedance, okay? The Thevenin impedance. And the problem with that is it's, again, not gonna be as easy because we can't just look between terminals A and B and look backwards. Um, because we have this dependent source here. So we can deactivate this voltage source with a short circuit, but we can't deactivate dependent sources. So you can't really just look backwards and do some simple, you know, uh, series parallel things to get the impedance. You can't do that. And also, uh, if we try to do it by the short circuit current, that would, that would work too, but we, I want to demonstrate different ways of, of doing it. And so in this case, we're going to put a test source out here and we'll calculate the, the test current and use that to calculate the Thevenin impedance. So the bottom line is I'm just trying to get you prepared for that amount of work coming up. So many times for, for a more complicated Thevenin equivalent problem, you have to kind of solve two problems. The first problem is find the Thevenin voltage. The second problem is find the Thevenin impedance. And sometimes you'll have to actually solve two different systems of equations to get there. So uh, if you start finding yourself doing that, don't worry about it. Don't feel like you're, you're going off the rails. It's just that it's a more complicated problem. So you are almost never going to be able to know how to calculate this Thevenin, uh, Thevenin voltage, the open circuit voltage, just by staring at the problem. So my advice is write down equations that you know are valid and then start simplifying them and figure out if you can find a system of equations that will work that will give you this voltage that you're seeking, which is V0, which is in this case the Thevenin equivalent voltage that we're looking at. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a Kirchhoff current uh, loop or a Kirchhoff current law at the top node. So we're gonna do a Kirchhoff current law here at this node. Now, why am I doing that? Well, it's experience, but also if I'm approaching